Metropolis, the social media TV network for your city. Talkopolis programming is sponsored by the following. Highland Hills, a multicultural, diversified funeral home supporting the entire Davidson County community. Visit our website at www.highlandhillsfuneralhome.com or call us at 615-650-5555. Hey guys, Kane Harrison here uh, in our brand new location down here at Hortons off 8th. It's a fantastic coffee shop, so come down and see us at any stage. We're here uh, with Wade Massey and we're having a talk about a pretty interesting uh, topic that's been flying around Nashville and it's actually gone national with some issues with some guitars and we welcome Wade. Good, how are you doing? Um, well, thanks Wade for coming and, and talking to us. Now tell us your version of the stories that's unfolded in the last week. Well, it started back in probably the 1st of January. Uh, I was working for a guitar shop. Um, it was like Music City Guitars. And the owner name was Buckley Mills. Uh -huh. I mean, he had a shop over here at 810 Broadway. And uh, he had a lot of overhead. And so he moved to Rivergate and still couldn't make it in a shop. So he said he was going to work off the internet out of his garage. Okay. So he had a bunch of inventory left over from his shop and said he needed help moving it you know like I mean, if you had to just go pawn it so sure so you know every day he'd give me he took me to the first three four pawn shops because i think my car was broken down and uh we got between like six and a thousand dollars for the car i think we got a thousand for one of them and mostly like seven eight hundred for most of them sure and uh, he'd give me like forty dollars and he would keep the rest for each guitar that was right. sold so, so okay. after about three or four of them him taking me around he would i got my car fixed it was like a hundred dollar fix mm -hmm. something like that so he gave me a guitar like uh, for seven days. I pawned seven guitars. Right. And about a month later, I get a call from a pawn shop saying, "You have a chance to come in and get the bogus guitar." So, well, I really don't have the money. The guy who has the money is named Buck. So I keep calling Buck. He doesn't answer. I mean, he has a business. I just don't think he's going to split town like sure. this. Sure. So you think that, I mean, one of the major issues that they talked about on all the news coverages were the fact that people said that, um, you know, they weren't actually Gibson guitars, that they were remakes of Gibson guitars. Is that true? They were a knockoff from uh, the Gibson Gold Top. It um, was four Gold Tops and I think six Customs. And they're all, I think, Gibson colors. I think there was a white one sure. and a black one. So I didn't think that, you know, there was like off in the same place or right. something. I thought they were like, you know, trade-ins or something he got. I'm not really sure where he got them all. I think he did say he was getting stuff from China, but these, he didn't really say where these came from at first. You know, he just, he kind of gave, he took me out to Murph's Bar, bought me lunch, and he was really happy with that, so. And sounds like, so Buck, who was the business owner, who couldn't ch sell them over the internet, do you think that he was giving the perception that these were real Gibson guitars? He was said, yeah, yeah, it's just, it's just like amplifiers. I wouldn't know the difference if they were, you know, real or not, you right. know. Um, you know, I don't, I didn't, it just said it made in the United States on it. He said that they were reconditioned in China okay. because they were factory rejects here that had some problems with the neck or something like that. And they were fixed and, and shipped over back over here. So in some elements, it should be Buck that's in the hot seat, not you. It seems like yeah. the whole blame has been put onto you for selling these Gibson guitars or remakes of Gibson guitars. When you don't really know anything about guitars, you wouldn't be able to tell a real Gibson guitar right. from a normal, from a, a remake guitar at all. You were just simply trying to make some money. That's what it sounds like. Right. I was accused of shipping them in from China, and the detectives really don't listen to. Uh, I've told him that there's crates in his garage. I've talked to his old roommate. She said he split in the middle of the night, and uh, she paid up like a month's rent. And two days later, they wanted to foreclose on the house and put mm -hmm. it for auction. So she got scan bombed. And she's willing to testify. She hasn't talked to the, the detective. Won't call her. Right. The detective says that I was the one, and I'm, you know, I'm just going to prison. I mean, they're not. They're not. They're not. They say that Buck Mills doesn't even exist. Right. So well, I'm, I'm I going mean, around trying to get all the information that I can, like the leases he had and from the sure. condo where he was filing bankruptcy, where he was in a hard time. So he had a lot of overhead. He had a BMW and a condo. He had to have money to keep his lifestyle. Well, I mean, it sounds like he was living kind of large, and perhaps he was scamming some other people like your good self and some other pawn shops around town trying to subsidize his way of life. Does that sound right? Yeah, he, he just hasn't been in trouble before and thought, you know, he's just, it's a money, he's addicted to money or something. You uh -huh. know? I don't know him to do any drugs. He seemed like a real good businessman. He looked like the guy, uh, Wendy's, uh, what, Dave at Wendy's. He was a real, real honest kind of guy. Would, sure. Anybody would trust us, you know? Yeah. So I didn't think anything wrong. I, I thought, you know, anything mm -hmm. would, would be that they were stolen. Mm -hmm. It never occurred to me that there'd be a fake Gibson or something, you know? Sure. I thought there were trademark laws. You can't come in the country. And how they got in the country, 
I don't know because like they wouldn't have passed through customs. Mm. But since they did get in the country, they're here. They're they're a problem because Gibson's factory's here, and well, and, and they can lose sales from it. Plus, too. someone gets ripped off. You know, they can pay the top dollar for one of these fakes. Now, let's talk about this. Uh, just a clarification for the people at home: If you knew that they were fakes, would you have sold them as real guitars? I would have to study the laws. I mean, back back then, I thought may have, but knowing that the laws are now, the copyright laws, no, I wouldn't. You wouldn't have, yeah. No. Well, it sounds to me like that uh, Buck is definitely the one that we're looking for and that the police should be looking for. And there's, understandably, you know that you've done something wrong, but you weren't intentionally doing that by the sounds of that way. And I didn't think I was doing a crime. I, just, I mean, I knew they weren't stolen. I knew if they, if they were stolen, the same thing, I'd come back on him. Right. So, you know, he's the one who gave me the... The, the bad merchandise. Guilt by association, I'm afraid. Right. But we do appreciate you coming in, Wade, and telling your side of the story. And we, of course, do invite Buck. If he's out there, he's more than welcome to come and tell his side of the story. And we'd love to hear about it. This will be a controversial issue, I'm sure, over the next coming weeks. And uh, we will wait on the edge of our seats to hear what happens to Wade Massey. Wade, thank you so much for coming Good. in. Thank you so much.